Let's get you to certified meteorologist Tom Terry and George Waldenberger tracking it all in severe weather center nine. Tom and George. Yeah, right now winds up to 100 miles per hour. The new track, George, perhaps shifting just a little bit northwest. This is going to be uh, on the southeast side of Tallahassee now. So here's Cedar Key, Steenhatchee. So we're going to be up in this kind of a, on the east side of Appalachian Bay. And with a brand new advisory now, Edalia is a category two hurricane. The winds have increased to 100 miles per hour. Tom, this is rapidly intensifying right beneath our eyes. Yeah, uh, this is the old advisor. We're up to 100 now, so cat two. And again, it's going to bring it up by tomorrow. The impacts for us are the same, even though the landfall point may shift a little bit. We're getting the first out of rain band storage. We have several uh, very intense, if not severe thunderstorms right now. One here in the Brevard County area and this one that's approaching Kissimmee St. Cloud. Yeah, they've went ahead and issued severe thunderstorm warnings, at least for now, because uh, this severe thunderstorm has a threat of damaging wind and this will be pushing toward Campbell, south sides of Kissimmee, also St. Cloud. And Tom, here's the other severe thunderstorm in Brevard County. Yeah, so this is the whole issue with this. The outer rain bands, even though we are long away from the center of this uh, hurricane, we're getting some very strong winds through this. There is a tropical storm warning out for the entire area. But Wedgefield, that's a big storm, George. And we have not seen a lot of rotation with this yet, but we're going to keep a close eye on any spin-ups as we're prone to have when we have storms in the Gulf. There's a lot of lightning with these thunderstorms as well. Well, as we get closer to the center, as the center gets closer to us, we'll likely see less lightning. But there are four, indeed, strong storms that are moving through central Florida right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we get more severe thunderstorm warnings out of these. Yeah, we're going to get more. And generally, this is now, this is 5 p.m. You can see the thunderstorms coming through. Any one of these could produce winds over 50 to 60 miles per hour. And we're going to keep this moving north. Yeah, so this is 7 p.m. After that, our first initial test will give us a break. And then it's after 2 o'clock that we start to see the main impacts of the system and they'll kind of be rolling in from the west to the southwest because remember at this point Idalia will be tracking to our west northwest so these will be the outer rain bands overnight through tomorrow morning. Yeah so daybreak in the morning it's going to be a good time for you to just stay hunkered down where you are because especially Orlando West we're going to have all this repeat squally rain band and George like with all systems like this I'm concerned about some localized flooding potential. Yes especially if we get rain bands that set up and we'll get some some isolated amounts that will be higher potentially than five to six inches if that could happen. Yeah, the worst weather is still going to be closest to where this uh, hurricane is going to be. Still have a hurricane warning to the west. It's going to be a long night, and George and I are going to be here watching it all evening, overnight. We're going to not stop until this storm moves out, but it's going to be a long night tonight, a long day tomorrow, just to stay home and watch. Martha? All right.